And now this week comes another indictment regarding the former president's conduct in the days leading up to the close of our administration. I've said many times I had hoped the judgment about those days would be left to the American people and to history. But such is not the case. But in these times, I want to say I think it's important that we hew to first principles and that we tell the truth to the American people. The first principles are these. No one is above the law. And the president and all those implicated are entitled to the presumption of innocence that every American enjoys. But secondly, despite what the former president and his allies have said for now more than two and a half years and continue to insist to this very hour, the Georgia election was not stolen and I had no right to overturn the election on January 6th. It's a hard truth. My friend Governor Brian Kemp said it well yesterday. He said, for, quote, for nearly three years, anyone with evidence of fraud has failed to come forward to provide evidence in a court of law regarding the Georgia elections. And for my part, I always knew that the framers of our Constitution wove federalism directly into the electoral college system. I hardly need to tell state legislators that states conduct our elections for national leadership. States certify those elections. And under Article II, the only role of the Vice President of the United States as President of the Senate is to preside over a joint session of Congress where objections under the law might be heard, but where the electoral votes certified by the states would be open and counted. It said they shall be opened and they shall be counted. No more and no less. And I'll always believe by God's grace, I did my duty that day to see to the peaceful transfer of power under the Constitution of the United States and the laws of this country.